Hey guys, RC here, back with uh, our next video, episode number 11, and we are playing Out of the Park Baseball 18. This is our Kansas City Royals playthrough. This is where we left off. We were kind of looking at some contract extensions. We're getting close to uh, September call-ups, and um, anyway, we were trying to figure out some of these guys to extend, who to let go. Um, so I think, I think I have gotten, uh, enough. Now, you know, one thing I was noticing is even with the salaries that we're letting go, like Heath, Healy, sorry, excuse me, like Healy, we're still down, we're still going up a hundred thousand dollars from 3.8 to 3.9 million um without even you know blinking good chunk of that a hundred thousand is Bruce Souter um oh there's another nice chunk a hundred and sixty thousand for Dennis Leonard wow uh you know Jack's making a hundred and four thousand sitting in the minors right now which that blows Boy, I tell you what, I'm going to have some nice contracts come and do uh, after next season. God, that's going to be ugly. But I, w I know I'll be able to drop a few like Milner. I'll be able to get rid of that. Um, Mallory, he'll come off, but that's not a whole lot. Thankfully, I've got Gidry locked in for a pretty good contract at a reasonable price. Oof. So this is going to start getting ugly real soon. Now, you know, the good news is, even with that, I mean, you know, we're projected to make $2.5 in profit this year. So, you know, we can always come, you know, sink into that a little bit uh, as long as our budget allows it. Um, anyway, um, let's see. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a week here. That'll get us to September call-ups. All right, roster expansion. All right, here's some contracts. So Wolford, Lance, Larkin, Zadeb, Bruno, Pels. Now three of those, uh, Pels, Zadeb, and Lance are minor league extensions for another year. All right, what? All right, I want to bring up, uh, yeah, but see, he's on a minor league contract, but I'm going to call him up, I think. I want to see what he can do. We're going to call up the quiz. We're going to call up Larkin. Let's call up Morris. Eh, if I could get that mouse to go all the way over. Um... McKinney, no. Quirk, no. Dower, you know what? Let's bring Dower up and let's see what he can do. And yeah, Buck Martinez looks pretty horrible. John Wathen, I really need one of these guys to get promoted here. How about, uh, well, Wathen's 27. You know what? Um, yeah, he's only got a 3i. That's pretty sad. That can still build up, but he's 27. I don't think he's going to gain much more. You know what? I'm going to call him up, too. Let's do that. All right, now let's real quick run through and reset everything. Uh, so single A, double A, triple A, there we go. All right, let's go to a five-man rotation. All right, so there's Quisenberry and Larkin. 
right. And Morris slots in at number four. All right, lineups. We did make a few moves here. I just don't have a whole lot of guys making the move up. All right, graphical depth chart. All right, let's try this again. All right, there. All right, so what I want to do is I want to come in here, and I want to force start him in center field. That'll override the AI stupidity for putting Mallory up there. And that gets all that straightened out. All right, uh, Wathen. All right, so Wathen, let's let's let him catch uh, about every seventh game. I want to see how he does. Dreesen May. Oh, I do need to put Aaron back over here and then move him up. I do want him my first bat off the bench. There we go. All right. Still only uh, two homers this year. Hitting 400. Heck, hitting 400, do I bring him back again? Um, won, won a title last year. In fact, that was his first championship with, uh, was with us. Hooray, we got, we got Hank a ring. Just, just thought about that. That's cool. Has not been an all-star since 74. Man, what a run this guy had in real life and in the game. But favorite player of all time, honestly. Uh, I, I, all right, we are not to uh, the end of the week yet, so let's finish that out. A personal message. Willie Wilson signs a contract. Awesome. Try to finish the week again. Nope. Charles Smith signs a contract. Awesome. And that gets us to Monday. All right. Morgan, a fractured rib. Three more weeks on the shelf. All right. AL Batter of the Month, Toby Hara. George Foster of the Reds, NL Batter of the Month. Vita Blue, Pitcher of the Month in the American League. Tom Seaver in the National League, Wayne Cage of the Indians, and Wade Boggs. That's a name you've probably heard. Of uh, the Braves were Rookies of the Month. There's all the contract stuff that we had. Enos Cabell was injured. Kansas City gets whitewashed. Not good. 20 game hit streak for Frank Taveras. Shortstop for the Pirates. Reggie Smith, AL Batter of the Week. Ron Say, NL Batter of the Week. And we actually climbed back up to number six. White Sox still at the top of that power rankings chart. All right, let us flop back here. So we take two out of three from the Sox. That's actually pretty solid. Bird got a no decision. Was there a rain delay or anything in here? Uh, no. He just lasted four and a third innings. All right, not sure why, but interesting. Wiley got rocked. Four hits in one third of one and two thirds. Aaron had a, a hit here. One for one, up to 412. God, do I bring him back for another year? I don't know. I don't know if I can afford to hold a roster spot. I think that's something I'm going to have to let him go. Um, 20th save for Bruce Souter. Oh, that reminds me. Yeah, I hate him being called a stopper. I want to call him a closer. I don't know if that does anything, but there's probably something in the coding there. Uh, Lee Lacey is 12th home run. There's probably something in the coding that causes that to uh, change how they're used. Um, Gidry, another no decision with an excellent outing. Good gosh. And Hrabowski, 
He hasn't blown a ton of say a, a ton of opportunities this year, but boy. Doesn't his name always seem to be there when there's a blown save? Brett, his 25th homer. Dreesen, 26. So Brett catches him and uh, gets one-upped by Dreesen right afterwards. Then we hit September, and we lost three in a row. And look at that. We rarely score that many runs. And Leonard got, oh, uh, Leonard. That's two games in a row he's gotten shelled. Herbowski, go figure. He got lit up. And no home runs again. That's like two games in a row where I've noticed we scored a lot of runs, like double-digit runs, and had no homers in the game. That's odd. That just seems really strange. <laughs> All right, Bird, two hits, no runs, but got a no decision because we had a blown save after him, and then Suter takes the loss. Ugh. Four to three. Oh, that's all we just looked at. A one nothing. Split orf. Well, you can't pitch any better than that unless you pitch like that. Ow. Those are tough ones to lose there. And Gidry, number 15 for him. Good. All right, standing-wise, all right, we are now nine games out. Magic number's 11 for the Sox, so we've lost any shot at the division in all likelihood. We're still three and a half up on the Yankees, but we're only... Wow. Wow. Six and a half up on the A's. So our magic number is 14. That, if we don't start winning again, that could get interesting. All right, let's go another week. All right, we are to Monday. All right, Tavares hit list. There goes his hit streak. Thurman Munson, five hits. Oh, I always want to keep checking him. Real life. All right, so 79 was his last year. He died, I think, right before the All-Star break or right after the All-Star break. Um, oh, somebody, I forget who it was, but somebody put a comment up on one of my video, a couple of videos back about uh, they enjoyed my rants on the 70s. Am I really ranting? I didn't think I was ranting. If I was ranting, I apologize. I thought I was just talking about 70s baseball. Um, but, uh, you know, I do, I do have fond memories. That's when I became a baseball fan. Uh, that was the height of my interest in uh, in baseball was in the 70s. And, and uh, yeah, the 70s. Uh, late 70s, very early 80s. Um, but, uh, so if I was ranting, I apologize. But he said he enjoyed it, so maybe I shouldn't apologize. I don't know. Um, so yeah, but we're here in 77. So Munson's got a couple of years left in real life. Uh, hopefully we will see, uh, see the captain there. Uh, he was the captain before Derek Jeter was the captain. Uh, and, uh, definitely considered one of the great Yankees of all time. Um. Anyway, uh, St. Louis eliminated Ken Singleton, 5 for 6. Lavar, L Larvell Blanks. Larvell Blanks. Boy, that was a... I saw that and I was thinking of uh, Lonzo Ball's dad uh, with, with them being in the news. Uh, the kid coming out of uh, UCLA basketball. California eliminated... The White Sox clinch at least a wild card. Uh, Bobby Gritch, day to day. Expos eliminated. Fergie Jenkins got a shutout. Jeff Burrows, player of the week in the AL. Leon Roberts, National League and. 
So Chicago was overtaken by the Reds in the power rankings. Philly jumped up pretty high. And we dropped off to number 10. So we had the biggest drop up there at the top. So that's not good. Uh, let's go into the schedule. All right, so we take two out of three from the Twins. And then we take uh, we drop two out of three to the White Sox. So not a very good week for us. Uh, Morris... Boy, I hope he rebounds and, and can return to form because I've been very disappointed with him. Awesome win there. Blylevin's a tough one to beat. He's 18-8. and eight. No, uh, no homers in that game. Bird gets to 10 wins. Good for him. Milner, well, he flashes some power with a homer. Splitorf just misses that 20th win. George Brett, home run number 26. Aaron 0 for 1, and he drops below 400 on the season. Gidry gets number 16. And Morris again. Not pitching horribly, but certainly not pitching well. All right, uh, standing-wise, where are we at? Because it's getting close. We've got, uh, in fact, let's go back to that schedule. All right, we've got, uh, we've got a full slate this week with the Angels and the Sox, the Rangers and the Athletics, and that's it. So we have two weeks left. That series with the A's could be pretty interesting. Although although they went three and seven, they're in a seven game losing streak. So it's actually the Twins that are now sniffing at our heels. Um, the White Sox magic number is four, and they've got a ten game lead. I would say they've got that wrapped up. We've got now. See, we're only a game and a half up on the Yankees now, as we've started to struggle. Our magic number's five, and we've got a nine-game lead on the Twins. So, again, I think it's going to be hard for them to catch us. I think we would have to completely fall apart. But if we play like we did at the beginning of the season, that could happen. Uh, and that series with Oakland in that final, depending on how they, how, how they do and we do this week, that could be a crucial outing. So let's finish the week here. And I'm not even looking at it. All right. All right, there's some emails. All right. Soderhelm, a two-game suspension. Oh, arguing balls and strikes. That'll do it. All right, the White Sox clinched the pennant in the AL West. Jim Brewer out for nine months. He's 39. That could be a career ender. That's uh, nine and three, six saves, and a 2.37 ERA. The Yankees clinching appearance. Well, wait a minute. How did the Yankees get in if I didn't? Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. The National League East Pirates. The Reds make it. John Denny out for a year. Wow. All right, AL Player of the Week, Ron LaFleur. I like him. Steve Strouder, NL Player of the Week. Oh, here's where I get nervous. Yep, so the A's jumped all the way up to number 11. We dropped to number 12. Ow. Where are the, uh, where are the Twins? Oh, the Twins dropped to number 17. So it looks like that series with Oakland is going to be the be-all, end-all there. All right, so let's see. We, uh, we split the four-game series with California, and then we get swept by the Sox. Ouch. All right, Leonard gets number 21 in the win category. Uh, I guess we need to look at the losses, too. Yeah, Jeff Dunham. Uh, 
Oh, no, Leonard took the loss. Oh, my bad. My bad. You guys are probably sitting there screaming at me. Bird gets the win, and Bird hit a home run. Holy cow. So Bird hit his first homer of the season. Mallory hit his first homer of the season. And then Dreesen got number 27. Aaron 0 for 1. There's a big win, 11 to 1. Gidry gets number 17. He's going to miss 20 this year. John Wathen, there you go. He comes in and gets his major league debut home run. Excellent. So I'm seeing a few things. I want to go look at some of these guys before the last week of the season. All right, Morris. Yeah, Morris is not getting it done here, guys. Not at all. But then, uh, you know, Leonard loses two in a row. Boy, I do not want him cold going into the uh, into the playoffs, man. That's, gee whiz. And then Bird takes a loss. Mallory, his second homer. Brett catches Dreesen at 27. So they're really pushing each other hard. That's good. Aaron went hitless in a couple of those games. All right, so... Where are we at? We've got six games left. Three with the Rangers. Three with the A's. We're on a three-game losing streak. We have actually fallen behind the Yankees. Our magic number is one. One. And it's the Rangers and the A's. <laughs> and they're both on big win streaks. Very nervous. Very nervous very nervous. All right, I want to come over here. I am over here. Hold on. All right, I did. That was my wife calling in. Um, I want to put I want to put Splitorf up to number 4. Um yeah. Okay, Quisenberry has yet to make an appearance. Larkin, Larkin's getting roughed up. All right, I need to check something for her here. Let's see. I need a need some crickets for my lizard. Oh, and I better ask, please. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. I want to look at these guys here. All right, position wise. All right, Wathen's hitting 364. Um, wow, that's pretty solid actually 364 with a homer and four RBIs in four games three starts okay I like that all right real quick then I need to go see if see I don't know why it can't put it all in the right freaking order all right, we're going to extend him. Uh, why can I not offer him a contract? Is it because we're in the last month? Oh, he's on a minor league contract. Good. Well, that is good. All right. I don't want to lose him. That's, that's kind of why I'm looking at this. I don't want to lose him. Um, all right, who else did we put in? We put in uh, Charles Smith. All right, he's hitting 234. Eh, not great. Mallory's hitting a buck 72. Wilson is 248. 
Milner's 270, not 193. Yeah, not good, not good. Aaron's down to 333. So yeah, I think I'm going to keep that and not extend him. And Rich Dower's hitting 338. Um, 26. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll we'll offer one year there for Dower. All right, that's what I wanted to look at. We want to make sure we don't lose anybody that I definitely want. Healy's gone. I think Wathen's my replacement. May's going to be gone. Yeah, I'm okay with all those guys. Quisenberry. Okay, I am going to have to extend him. That's too bad. Let me do a four-year deal if he'll take it. Just because it's it's 55000 a year, I'd like to lock that in for a little while. Rather than a one-year deal. Um, Dower we just extended, and Wathen is on a minor league contract. Alright. And it will not let me extend him anyway. That's alright. We'll figure it out. I don't want to lose him, though. Alright. So what I want to do here, I tell you what, we've got 25 seconds left. So let's go ahead and put a cut in right here. We will come back and we will be uh, in the final week of the season. And we will kind of go day by day to see if we blow this or clinch this or whatever happens. Thanks for checking this out. Hope to see you back for the pennant stretch drive, uh, or at least the wild card stretch drive. And we will see you then. Thanks a lot. Bye.